antimicrobial resistance is a very disturbing phenomena that's actually increasing. Now, what are the reasons why this happens or the incremental effect is happening is because of the fact it was injudicious use of antibiotics. So, if you take in the Indian landscape, people are a little careless about treating themselves without knowing what they actually have. So, one, the drugs are available very easily from chemists, which is a very bad thing, that we don't have tough regulation that says that no, you cannot dispense antibiotics without uh, prescription. People avoid going to doctors, your neighbor becomes your referral and says, Ke, you know, ye le lo, ho jayega. So these are very irresponsible acts that are in our society. So what happens is when you take inappropriate treatment with antibiotics, the bacteria have an opportunity to become resistant to that antibiotic. And over a period of time, it develops resistance to multiple antibiotics. So that is what uh, antibiotic resistance uh, 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 AMR is. Okay. Now the question basically comes, what should we be doing to control it? So mains, the first thing that we can do is to educate the public about the hazards of anti antimicrobial resistance that our antibiotics are developing. The other thing you want to tell the public is that we are actually reaching the end of the road that new antibiotics are becoming more and more difficult to discover. The bacteria are getting smarter and smarter and are developing resistance faster than they were before. So this war between infection and, and our ability to treat with antibiotics is going on right now. So public has to become more responsible. Do not take uh, antibiotics without proper guidance from a physician. And also for physicians, I would say, do not randomly treat. Wait for the culture will tell you or the physical exam and all that tells you, then at least you know what antibiotic to use. We are a tertiary care hospital where pa patients who are, are already most, mostly treated somewhere else. Because we are a referral center where, like what, what we call the last stop, that if they cannot be fixed anywhere, people send them to us. Okay. So what has happened is that if antibiotics have been given to them already without the proper investigation like cultures and all that, or I would say inappropriate antibiotics given, then those are the people who actually arrive with having developed some resistance. So it makes our task more difficult, but because we have a very robust uh, infection control department and we have like all the facilities to do rapid uh, cultures and all that stuff, that we we are quite effective in controlling even the most difficult of cases. But the fact is that it is becoming more and more resistant uh, the bacteria and also that the consequences to the public is becoming more. So just because we are able to treat it does not mean that we should say continue. For hospitals, what they have to do is to have a very robust surveillance system. For what we do, because we do high-end surgeries, we are very active in preventive uh, measures for so so that we do have the lowest rate of infection across the world, and that is only possible because you have active surveillance. 
you have a very good anti, uh, the laboratory which can actually test the microbiology uh, the laboratory have, must have all the latest equipment to do rapid testing and being able to provide the results of the uh, of the bacteria what kind of bacteria and what are they sensitive to so that appropriate measures can be taken immediately education of nurses doctors paramedical so it, this it goes across that you have to maintain full hygiene you have to do disinfection of everything you have to do active surveillance that people are actually because like institutions like ours are jci accredited jci is joint commissioner commission international which which is american standards they come from america and different places of the world to examine you your facilities so hand washing is a very important element that whatever you you if, the more frequently you sanitize your hands the better it is because then you don't pass on that infection to 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 each other or to other people so these are some of the measures that we can take to actually contain the amr that is going increasing rapidly and we must stop it because or or at least make a make a difference in its progression and even make it safer by taking all these measures it is a collective effort everybody in the full chain must be educated about antibiotics and the adverse effects that it may have if there is an inappropriate use so many times this is what we call social medicine which is practiced a lot on the outside that a doctor sees a patient he wants immediate results so he gives antibiotics le lo ab wo antibiotics us culture culture kiya bhi infection thi ke virus tha kya tha because there are many virus infections which will terminate in cells in the next 2 3 days so you must have evidence that you have infection that you want to treat it so that is the message to the doctors is be judicious about prescribing antibiotics to the public is do not self medicate don't listen to your neighbor who who because they got a sore throat they say oh sore throat ye le lo theek ho jayega that's not what you want okay as far as the the paramedical staff is concerned super hygiene and handling of materials and repeated hand sanitization because there is a full prescription you do not touch a patient before sanitizing you don't put, uh, do the surrounding areas if you are going to a treatment you will wear do the washing and the gloves and all that so all that sterility measures have to be maintained by the staff whether they are nurses whether they are assistants housekeeping the whole have to be trained in that manner that they participate in prevention of infection so the best way to treat amr is to prevent but once that happens we need to be do the culture use the appropriate antibiotics do not just fire off antibiotics without knowing what your what is the appropriate antibiotic to use so that would be the advice i'd give to our staff to our to our colleagues and to other hospitals who are similar to us